Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Legendary Leaders. This is the very first video episode of the Legendary Leaders podcast. You know, I set out on a mission to record 365 episodes, an episode a day, probably starting, actually starting uh, middle of January, early January of 2020. And I'm going to run it all the way through early January of 2021, an episode every single day so that I can serve you and I can grow and, and I can do all of these things combined, right? So welcome to the very first video episode. If you are checking this out on video on YouTube, if not, keep listening on the podcast, right? Keep listening. You don't have to have video if you don't want it, um, but go check it out, right? Either way, any of the platforms, Apple, Spotify, Google, or on YouTube. That said, today I want to focus on the topic of taking talent with you when you leave, right? You know, we talk a lot about preparing you, you being women in the corporate world that are looking around, knowing that you are meant to do something more, right? Knowing that you are meant to go out and contribute to the world in a different way. You sit in your corporate world and you think this is really all that life is meant to be. And you get a little frustrated. You don't feel satisfied. People around you are happy and they're living life and you're wondering why you can't be them why you can't be satisfied, right? That's who we work with here at Legend Leaders. That's who I'm here to support. I'm here to support you. And so once you realize you're dissatisfied, you're going and you're trying to figure out how to start your own business. And then that's what we hope you accomplish, right? And so today I want to specifically talk about the idea of you leaving the corporate world, moving on either to your stepping stone position, right? That position that allows you additional freedom and flexibility. You need the money to start your own business, right? But what you also need is time and you may not have a lot of time available in the corporate world. So you take a stepping stone position or you may also decide that you are going to completely quit your job because your business is up and running. It's doing well. You've sustained your income that you wanted to replace for at least three months, hopefully six. Right. I would ideally recommend that you replace it for six months. And then once you're there, you're ready to leave. But what happens when you leave the corporate world? Well, You're going to inevitably have people who want to follow you. You're a great leader. You've developed great talent. You've selected these individuals to be on your team because they are smart and strong and capable. And they're with you even today because they trust you and they're loyal to you and they appreciate your leadership style. And so I'm sure throughout your corporate career, you have seen individuals leave the corporate world and follow their leaders around from company to company, right? I've seen it happen throughout my career. And so you may have that following right now. You may have that following in the corporate world. But what I want to challenge you to do is not take the talent with you. Now, you may be thinking, Katrina, I mean, these are great people. I've developed them. I've hired them. I want them to come with me. I need them to either help develop this new team and this new company, or I'd really love to have their talent and skill sets in my own business. And look, I get that. I know the investment that you've made with these individuals. I respect it 100%. But what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to burn bridges. And if you take talent with you right out of the gate, intentional or not, purposeful or not, they're going to perceive, and they being the corporate individuals that you work with and for now, it is going to be perceived as though you are trying to damage that corporate business. Now, again, I know that wouldn't be the intent. But here's the deal. Here's the lens you need to look at it through, okay? You're leaving. You're an integral part of that business. If you weren't, they wouldn't have kept you there, right? So you're critical to the success of that corporate business. But at the same time, the the other thing that you have to realize is that if you leave and you take two people with you, now you've significantly damaged that team. If you leave, it's going to be a blow. It's just going to be. It's going to be a blow to that business. But they can recover because you've left the talent there to raise that team up and keep it moving forward. If you take a couple of individuals with you, not only are you gone, but two, let's say two more than that, maybe three, four, whatever you decide in this hypothetical example, you take those individuals with you, then there's really no team left. There's no leadership left there. There's no knowledge of how to move the business forward. And inherently, it will be perceived as though you were trying to damage that team. Even if they won't say it, even if they don't think it right out of the gate, as they start to struggle to move that part of the business forward, it's a natural human assumption. 
And you don't want to burn bridges. You've never set out to do that. That wasn't why you were leaving in the first place, right? And so the challenge I want to leave you with today is this. Don't take talent with you. Don't be perceived as burning the bridge and trying to damage the corporate world. That's the first thing I want to leave you with. The other thing I want to leave you with is if someone comes to you and says, I really want to follow you. I really love your leadership. I trust you. If you're going to this other company, I trust that they're going to take care of me too. Or if you're going to start your own business, I trust that you will take care of me in that business. Now, that's a lot of responsibility, right? Now you have someone else's career in your hands. And so what I would recommend that you do is two things. Number one, thank them for the loyalty. I mean, that takes a lot for someone to come and say to you. So appreciate that. But number two, have an honest conversation with them. Hey, look, I need to leave for X, Y, Z reasons, or I'm moving to do ABC, whatever it is. You have your reason and you should share that with them as much as you feel comfortable without making it seem as though the company that you're working for now is a really bad company, right? You don't want to do that. But talk to them about why you personally want to leave or, or what it means to you and why you're moving forward. And then let them know that the company is going to need them to stay that they really need to be able to help move the business forward. Now, if there's another job that opens up in the new company that you're going to work for, they're welcome to apply. If you're starting to post for positions in your business that you own, they're welcome to apply. You're not going to tell them not to apply. But what you want to encourage them to do is at least stay three to six months, okay? Stay three to six months after you leave so that that corporate entity, that team in the corporate world can keep moving forward and it, it just doesn't look like you were trying to steal the talent. Now, if that corporate company is going out of business, if they're going through a restructure and that team's going to be terminated anyway, um, you know, if there's anything damaging happening in the corporate world, well, that's different, right? That's not what I'm talking about. I would consider those exceptions. What I'm really talking about is everything's fine. You just need more time back in your life or you're ready to move on and get your business going. And in those instances, you're not leaving that corporate job because something's wrong there. And so that means it's a safe environment for those talented individuals to stay in and work hard and progress and move forward. And so I would encourage you to encourage them to stay at least a few months after you leave so they can keep the business moving forward. And it doesn't look like you've tried to poach that talent. All right. So that's my challenge for you. You may not be in that situation yet, but as always, I want to arm you with the thoughts and the ideas and the perspectives that you need such that when you do get in that position, you're ready to take the best action. Thanks for joining me. And as always, go and be legendary.